its own on Kanye West and what's the real Kanye West? Well, if you've seen the movie Get Out, I definitely think Kanye's in the sunken place. And I think that he's been in the sunken place ever since he got with Kim Kardashian. That's why I call him Kanye Kardashian. Because if you think about where Kanye was, Kanye was almost like an activist. Like if it was something going on in the community, you could count on Kanye West to call it out. And then it's like over time, he just got real industry tutionalized. I appreciate yeah. it. I, I see the progress. Yeah. Hey, like Nick Cannon told Kanye West today, I'm, I'm glad you're not in that sunken place, brother. <laughs> <laughs> What's poppin' YouTube? It's the Hood Conspiracy Theories, man, and I'm back with another video. First thing first, man, make sure y'all subscribe, like, and comment. Smash that notification button, turn on post notifications so you'll know when I drop another video. But we back, man, and today we talking about the sunken place. We gonna be diving into the sunken place. We go dive into the movie Get Out. And I'm going to explain to y'all what the sunken place really is. So first thing first, man. The sunken place is a trance-like outer world estate or a void where victims of hypnosis and MK Ultra mind control are trapped when their bodies are taken over by a host. It's kind of like their mind is trapped in another dimension or reality while their body is a shell in the present time. An empty shell at that because the conscience has been transferred. Also, like when they do this, this method is also used in conscious transfer where a conscience and mind is transferred from one body to another. They show us this all the time. They have been doing this. They show us in movies, cartoons, and TVs all the time. They can also transfer brains and memories into new hosts. And like when they transfer their brain into a new host, they can unlock all the potential of the new person that they in, like all the powers, the skills, anything that that person did or anything that that person has potential to do. Like when they transfer a conscious into that body, the new host, like the new conscious, they can unlock every skill set and potential that that person has once they inside that host that also grants them a version of immortality. Like we seen David Rockefeller. David Rockefeller lived to like 102, 103 years old. How y'all think David Rockefeller lived that long? He had like 10 open heart surgeries. So that was a, that was a, a man-made version of immortality. Like all he did was kill you know, killing kids and meditated black people, you know, taking their body parts and organs so he can live long. That was one version of immortality that the elites do. The other version is conscious transfer. They conscious, they transfer their mind from, they transfer their conscious and their mind from one host to another. Now we go play this clip from this scene in the movie Get Out. When she put him under the trance, when they were sitting in the room and she was stirring that spoon up in the teapot and she low key was putting him in a trance. So notice when she say, now you go sink into the floor, sink. And when she did that, his conscience, it came out of his body. Like his conscience sunk into the sunken place. Now we go check this clip out and I'm gonna come back and talk about you it. Found it. Come here, Chris, look at me. <laughs> Found it. Where was your mom? She, uh... She was coming home, and she wasn't home. From work? Mm. Sat there. You didn't call anyone? No. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. I just 
thought that if I did, make it real. Hmm. You think it was your fault? How do you feel now? I can't move. You can't move. Why can't I move? You're paralyzed. Just like that day when you did nothing. You did nothing. Now... Sink into the floor. Wait, 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 wait. Sink. Now you're in the sunken place. Hey, so look, we back. So I just saw it out in the clip, man. The clip where she put him under hypnosis in order to put him in the sunken place. And then, like I said, man, hypnosis, all it is is an altered state of mind or a trance. As you seen when she was stirring that spoon up in that teapot, it's kind of like the noise, the noise and the frequencies, it put his mind in a trance. Cause you notice like when she called him and he was kind of staying into space and he kind of started laughing and stuff. Like he was in a trance then when she was already stirring that pot. The more she stirred the pot, the deeper the trance got for him. So like I was saying, all it is is an altered state of mind or a trance marked by a level of awareness from an ordinary state of consciousness. You know, hypnosis, it used to begin with a height, a hypnotic introduction involving, you know, instructions and questions and series, like how she was asking him about his, his past. She started asking him about what happened during his childhood that was the introduction. That's how she got him to be vulnerable like that. That's how he became vulnerable and he lowered his guard when she tapped into his past. She tapped into his mind and to his childhood. And then she was able to, you know, she did the magic with the teacup, stirring that spoon. That's how she got him. So, like I said, you know what I'm saying, before the video, the sunken place, all it is is a trance-like, out of worldly state or a void. That's what the sunken place is, is a void. You seen what he sunk, his mind sunk in his head. It was pure darkness, but he could still see her through his eyes, but it was getting smaller and smaller. He was sinking into a void. That's how it is. It's a void where victims of MK Ultra and hypnosis, mind control. That's where they trapped it when a body is taken over by a host. She had to do this because the next video I'm finna show y'all is why they did that. Because you already know the scene where they was playing bingo, they was auctioning off his body parts. They was playing bingo for his body and his parts. So it's like they gotta clear his mind. He he 100 percent is under her control. The trigger word is sink. Now notice when she says sink, 
his conscious is sunk into his mind it's sunk into the sunken place that's the trigger word they used to have a trigger word like when people be under mk ultra they have a trigger word so when she says sink and even at the end of the movie i believe when he was fighting the dad and the brother and she came downstairs with the teapot and she says sink i think that's what she said and he just hit the flow instantly so yeah sink that's the word that's the trigger word to make him go into that trance and just make him fall out no matter what he hit so they was playing bingo for his body parts and whoever won the game that's who got the body so y'all saw the dude that actually won the bingo game that's who wanted chris body that's who won it and they was gonna start the procedure but you know at the end of the movie he put he put the the tissue in his ears so when they was playing that on tv they couldn't really you know they thought that he was he was unconscious but he wasn't but we just going to show y'all mk ultra mind control hypnosis it's all the same it's the same thing as looking staring at that black and white pattern that be spinning and flashing that's hypnosis as well it's the same thing she just using a teapot she using the frequency and the vibrations from stirring that teapot and on top of her digging into his mind she done unlocked everything that's how she was able to get him now we see on this scene right here he finna flash the camera on him boom now you see when that flash hit him he finna go into a trance now what's happening is that flash triggered the mk ultra now he in a trance now you see his nose bleeding his conscience is coming back into his mind and just like that his real conscience is back notice how he grabbed him you know he grabbed him and he telling him to get out he broke free from mk ultra just like when kanye west do when kanye west go on those rants and he be breaking down kanye west break free he broke free from mk ultra many times and what happened Kanye West, he go in the house building, he come back under MK Ultra. Just like this scene right here. You see, he finna walk out the room with the lady. Look, he right back under MK Ultra. He been induced. She reprogrammed him, you know, with the tea in the pot, with the spoon in the cup, tea cup. That's how they get you. So he right back under MK Ultra. He back, and then you see the lady he with, his uh, significant other, she is his handler. So every situation like this, you gotta have a handler. Like Kim K is Kanye West's handler. When he held on rants and started breaking down, they send him to the high, to the house builder or to the psych ward. And he comes back out, you feel me? He come back out like nothing happened. He back on the MK Ultra. So that's what this scene shows y'all, like, you know, it's possible to break out, but you're going right back on them. So even on this scene right here, when he walk outside and he finna see the dude run through the field, the gardener guy, he under MK Ultra too. They got him. And just like the lady that they be looking all crazy, the servant, the maid, she under MK Ultra. They got her too. So like I say, man, they showing you this in the movies. They showing you this. But look at this dude here, man. Look. He on the MK Ultra. They got him. He was one of the first victims. Look at that. He on the MK Ultra, man. You feel me? But then look at her. Look at her. She on the MK Ultra as well. 